Hello everybody, my name is Rick Howard. I am the Dreams and Motion CEO, and I'm going to talk to you today about the power of the four C's, communication, collaboration, cooperation, and coordination. Okay, so let's talk about communication. First of all, communication is one of the most important words in the English language. Why do I say that? Okay, now here I am. This is when I was in Tunisia uh, a few months ago, giving a workshop with some people about communication and communication skills and public speaking. All right now. So the next word on our list is collaboration. And this is another important word because in order to achieve many things, particularly again, when we want to, when we have a mutual interest or a shared interest in something, we will collaborate with people. So the definition is to work with another on shared mutual interests, to collaborate in development of something such as writing a novel or developing a project. Some examples of collaboration or to collaborate. They decided to collaborate on developing a campaign to reduce pollution. Number two, extensive collaboration was required for them to find the partners for their new company. Number three, successful collaboration requires strong and effective communication skills. So this is probably one of my favorite images of all time. One of them. <laughs> okay, so this is actually uh, an image of our logo, Dreams in Motion, and you'll see around the outside of, of it, the circumference of it, different photos of people that have collaborated with us to make our organization an international success. So I think this is actually a great, great image. Okay, so global collaboration. We have something to accomplish. Let's collaborate. All right, our next word is cooperation. And this means to work or act with another or other persons willingly and agreeably. Some examples of cooperation. The math teacher cooperated with a science teacher to make his classroom available. Number two, the witness cooperated with the police to find the criminal. Number three, his lack of cooperation resulted in missing his airplane flight. I know about that one, okay? Okay, so one thing people might get a little bit confused because they can, in some cases, uh, be used interchangeably. However, cooperation and collaboration are a little bit different. Okay, when we talk about cooperation, I have something to accomplish. You have something to accomplish. We'll cooperate. And remember, with collaboration, we have something to accomplish. Let's collaborate. Okay, so always remember that. Important. All right, the last word on our list. Coordination. So when we talk about coordination, it means to combine in harmonious relation or action. That might seem a little bit funky, okay? <laughs> uh, let's see if we can make it uh, make a little bit more sense by putting it into some examples. So example one, I coordinated with the team to meet at the office between 10 to 10.30 in the morning. Number two, 
they decided to do a group tour because the tour guide would do all the coordination. Number three, she used her excellent communication skills to ensure all employee schedules were coordinated. Okay, this is what I believe was the World Cup in the women's team for the United States in the World's Cup. So for the word coordination, obviously in many parts of our life, including team sports, coordination is extremely important for success. And the bullet here is we won the championship because our team had great coordination. Okay, our Dreams of Motion team, thanks you very much for watching this video. And we look forward to developing some more videos to help people with language development skills, career development skills, and we'll include some videos about traveling to different countries and the experiences that we have when we interface with people from a different culture, different religion, different ethnicity, etc. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.